Today we're talking about knife skills. First, I'm gonna use this eight inch chef's knife, which is our all around workhorse, to cut this turnip. So first thing, I'm gonna put my palm on the board and I'm gonna make sure that this is nice and stable. The way that I'm going to grab my knife is I'm gonna pinch where the handle meets the blade and I'm gonna have three fingers go around. I'm gonna take my front foot face completely straight. I'm gonna have my right foot face completely this way, 90 degrees. And then from there, my body angles this way. And if you look, I will be completely parallel. As soon as I put my feet forward, 45 degrees. So I'm already fighting a losing battle. So pull back this way, stabilize. So from here, I have my peeled vegetable. I want to make it as square as possible. When I cut anything, I want to make sure that my elbow is always up. I never want to have a lazy elbow. My thumb will always end up all the way over here. It's literally impossible for me to do this. Thumbs up like this. If you have these knuckles vertical, this part curves under and you can protect your fingertips. Figuring out where your knife is gonna be perfect, you can move your finger over and in like this. They all look even in size. It's exactly what we're trying to go for, which means they're gonna look perfect on the plate. They're gonna cook absolutely evenly. So knife skills has a lot to do with your end result. Something that I do like about longer knives is the amount of follow through that it gives you. Follow through means a lot of forward and backwards movement. We never wanna go completely up and down on anything. It's gonna crush the cells. Two fingers on the blade, three fingers on your handle. So if you look, I'm going in with the very tip of the blade. These are like what we like to call joyful herbs. Because over here, there's no green, there's no chlorophyll, there's no essential oil. Everything about the herb is beautiful and still there. All the flavor is still there. So next we're gonna move on to a slightly slimmer knife. This is a seven inch Santoku. This has these hollow grinds in here to help the food release a little bit better. For this, your body's posture is super important. If you're very tall, like I am not, and you're hunching over all the time, your back is gonna hurt a lot. So from here, we're gonna follow our tenets of left foot forward, right foot this way, stabilize our round vegetable like this, and then follow right through. I have a seven inch knife. Probably have an eight inch carrot. First thing I need to do is I need to cut it in half. I'm gonna cut a julienne. First thing I'm gonna do is make my paré. I'm gonna make sure that this curved item is completely flat and slide down. I'm using the entire length of the blade to do that. Now, this is my most stable side. Standing upright, not trying to be all the way up here on the carrot. In, down, and through. So now we have our paré, we have our tranche, we have our julienne. Now this here is called a brunoise. I can't do this unless I can do this. I can't do this unless I can do this. I really can't do this unless I can do this, this, and this. It's like an, it's an analogy for cooking in general. You can't do the next thing until you've mastered the previous thing. Those are knife skills. You now have no excuse to not cut the right way as long as you practice.